This quick start tutorial is intended to get you up and running quickly with Ubermenu without delving into the configuration details. Other videos will handle these subjects more in depth. The first thing you'll need to do is to install the Ubermenu plugin. From your dashboard, navigate to Plugins, Add New. Then click the Upload link at the top. Select the Ubermenu zip file you downloaded from Code Canyon and upload it. Note that if the file you downloaded is not a zip file, it means your browser unzipped it automatically on download. Click Install Now. Once your plugin is installed, click Activate Plugin. Now Ubermenu is installed and running on your site, but it's not actually changing anything yet. To get started using Ubermenu, the first thing you'll need to do is create a menu. You can either use an existing menu or create a new menu. Navigate to Appearance, Menus. To create a new menu, click Create New Menu. Then give your menu a name. and click Create Menu. Now you can add menu items to your menu by clicking the menu items on the left panel and then clicking Add to Menu. To save your menu, click Save Menu. We're going to work with an, uh, an existing menu. You can use Ubermenu with the menu that you've already created for your site. You can add new menu items to it or you can use it just the way it is. After adding the menu items you want to your menu, make sure that it is assigned to the proper theme location, either by checking the theme location box at the bottom and then saving your menu, or by going to the Manage Locations tab and making sure that your chosen menu is assigned to the appropriate theme location. Note that when building your menu, the menu item structure is hierarchical. So, top level menu items will appear in your menu bar, while their child items will appear within submenus. You can move menu items from the top level to the submenu by clicking and dragging them, either inside or outside of other menu items. If we look at the front end of the site at this point, we'll see that the standard theme menu is, is still in place. Ubermenu has not yet replaced the theme menu. The next step is actually integrating Ubermenu into your theme. Most themes meet their automatic integration requirements, which means you can replace your theme's menu automatically just by activating your target theme location. To use automatic integration, navigate to the Ubermenu control panel. You can either do this via Appearance, Ubermenu, or by clicking the Ubermenu link in the toolbar. Click on the main Ubermenu configuration tab and then click the integration section on the left. To automatically integrate Ubermenu, we just select the theme location that we would like to replace with Ubermenu. In this case, that is primary navigation. We then click save to save our configuration settings. And when we refresh the front end of the site, we'll see that Ubermenu will now replace the theme menu. In some cases, you may need to use manual integration. If the menu doesn't look right after using automatic integration, or if your theme doesn't meet the automatic integration requirements, you can add a line of PHP to your theme to insert Ubermenu. The best way to do this is to wrap your main menu in a conditional statement which displays Ubermenu if the plugin is active and your theme menu otherwise. You can get the necessary code right from the Ubermenu control panel. If we scroll down to the manual integration section, you'll see that Ubermenu will produce both a PHP version and a shortcode version of the integration code. All we need to do is to tell it which theme location we'd like to integrate. In our case, that's primary navigation. And you'll see that the code will refresh to give us the um, appropriate PHP to integrate into our template. 
You can copy this code right from the Uber menu control panel by clicking Control C or Command C on a Mac, then pasting it into your theme's template file, which is generally the header.php but can vary from theme to theme. To display the menu conditionally only when Uber menu is present, we simply wrap it in if tags, checking to see if the Uber menu function exists. Use the manual integration code. Otherwise, fall back to the default theme code. Note that ideally you would do this in a child theme in order to preserve your changes in case you update your theme in the future. Now that Uber menu is integrated, we'll want to configure it. We can change menu specific settings like the skin, trigger, transition, and orientation in the Uber menu control panel. There are also a variety of settings here that serve as defaults for menu item settings as well. So let's change our skin and our drop down transition. Right now, if we look at the front end, we'll see that the uh, we're using the black and white 2.0 skin, and the drop-down transition is the shift-up transition. So if we go to our basic configuration, and let's change our skin to deep sky, and let's change our trigger to click, and the transition to slide reveal. Then we click Save Main Uber Menu Configuration. And we'll refresh the front end. You'll see that we now have a new skin. And hovering doesn't do anything. I need to click since we changed the trigger to click. And you'll see that, that uh, the way the submenu opens is now with the slide reveal trigger, uh, slide reveal transition, excuse me. Now to configure individual menu items and submenus, we head back to the menus panel. Here we can change settings like adding icons and images, disabling links, and altering the item layout and more. So for example, uh, let's add an icon to our mega item. So we hover over the menu item and click the Uber button in order to open the menu item settings panel. On the left, we can click on the different sections of settings. So we click on icon. Then we click the set icon button. And let's give this menu, uh, menu item a camera icon. You can also get uh, 400 or, or almost 400 additional icons by getting the Uber menu icons extension if you're interested in having more icons for your menu. So we click Save Menu Item to save the uh, settings for this specific item. We don't need to say resave the entire menu unless we're adding new menu items or changing the core settings. And then if we refresh the front end, we'll see that that icon now appears. To configure a submenu, click the Submenu tab in the Menu Item settings for the parent of that submenu. So in this case, uh, you can choose the submenu type. Um, auto, by uh, default, using the automatic setting, it will be a mega submenu. But we could change that to a flyout if we wanted. Save our settings and look at the front end. You can see that now we have a flyout here instead of a mega menu. We could also change the position of the submenu. So um, instead of having it full width as it is by default, uh, we could align it to the right edge of the menu bar, for example. And we can also do other things like change the width, um, set a default number of columns for the submenu as well as um, do things like set a background image. Finally, you can also customize Uber menu uh, via the WordPress customizer. So if you go to Appearance Customize or Uber menu Customize, this will open the Uber menu customizer. 
Through this interface, you can change the customization settings and see a live preview of your changes before deploying them to your site. So if you click the Uber menu main uh, configuration panel on the left here, you can see that uh, you can change your skin and then you can tweak all sorts of um, individual settings for this. So we could change the top level menu color. The uh, This is the menu bar. If we want to create a gradient, we can select two colors here. So we could have it uh, fade into a darker blue. We can make the text appear uh, normal instead of uppercase. We can change the top level current menu item. Change that to purple if we want. Oh, that's the color. Uh, we could change the background using the top level background setting. And there are also a variety of, of settings for uh, the submenu and submenu headers. And we can even change the font. Uh, we can. This will automatically load uh, Google Web Fonts. So um, we could change it to Roboto if we wanted. Or there's about uh, 30 of the most uh, popular fonts from Google Fonts available here. When you're done making your changes, just click Save and Publish to publish these to the front end of your site. If you don't like your changes, just hit cancel or close the window and these changes will not be saved. There are also a few menu item customization settings that will allow you to configure individual menu items differently. So if you open your menu, menu item settings in the menus panel and go to customize style, you'll see a few settings here for changing things like the background color and font color on a specific individual menu item. And that should be about it to get you quickly up and running with Uber Menu. Uh, there's a lot more things that the plugin can do, so check out the knowledge base as well as the other video tutorials for more in-depth instruction on all the different things you can do with Uber Menu.